One of the most difficult parts of the first bone practical is the vertebral column. The first part of our vertebral column is the cervical vertebrae. Cervical vertebrae make up our neck. Cervical vertebrae are distinguished by the Y shape at the end of the spinous process and the transverse foramen on each side of the body of the cervical vertebrae. Thoracic vertebrae, which all attach to your ribs, have a long tail-like spinous process and tiny indentation facets at the end of the transverse process. This, these are where the ribs attach, so they are called the facets for the ribs. The lumbar vertebrae have very thick, dense, round bodies and a round spinous process. The first vertebrae is the atlas. Like Atlas holds up the world, Atlas holds up our skull. It is a cervical vertebrae, as you can see, transverse foramen on each side. And these two regions here and here are called the occipital condyles. That is where the skull articulates with the Atlas vertebrae, and that is where our skull sits. The second vertebrae is the axis vertebrae. The axis vertebrae is also a cervical vertebrae, as you see the lateral or transverse foramen on each side, and forms this pivot point at the top of the axis that is called the dens or, or a dontoid process, and that is where our head pivots or rotates. The second vertebrae is the axis vertebrae, the axis vertebrae. The rest of the cervical vertebrae, as I said before, are distinguished by the Y shape at the end of their spinous process. Their bodies are much smaller and thinner than the thoracic and lumbar bodies. And as you can see, they have the transverse foramen on each side of the body. What is most notable on the cervical vertebrae is the region of the lamina. The lamina connects the spinous process to the rest of the vertebrae. Thoracic vertebrae have the long tail-shaped spinous process, a thicker body, round body, and on the transverse process you can find the facets for the ribs. Transverse means to the side or lateral, so this is the transverse process, this is the transverse process. The region that connects the body of the vertebrae to the transverse process, this connection region here is called the pedicle and the region that connects the transverse process to the spinous process, that region is called the lamina. So here you have the lamina, and here you have the pedicle. This is a thoracic vertebrae. The lumbar vertebrae have the very thick, round bodies. The pedicle connects the body to the transverse process. The transverse process juts out to each side. The spinous process is very round on the lumbar vertebrae. Connecting the transverse region to the spinous process is the lamina. And most distinguishable on the lumbar vertebrae, although they are found on all the vertebrae, are what are called the articular processes or articular facets. To articulate means to join together. And as you see, the, this lower region here articulates with the upper region on the vertebrae below it. These are the articular surfaces, superior and inferior. The inferior is down below, and as you see, the spinous process goes down. This is the inferior articular process. And up above is the superior articular process on both sides. And this is where the two vertebrae articulate, join together. Typically, the vertebrae will have a fibrocartilage pad between the bodies and this creates an opening on the side and this is where the vertebrae um, openings allow for the spine, spinal column to release nerves to the body. And that is the basic component of the vertebral column.